guys, this is Card Warriors Magic, and today I have a really cool card trick for you. Now, um, this is an intermediate card trick. Uh, it is fairly self-working, but I'll explain a little more of that in the tutorial, and I'll go ahead and get into it. So I have the card deck right here. Um, I'm going to deal down two piles of 26. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and then the other pile of 26 because there are 52 cards in a deck. So I have the two piles, and I'm going to ask, uh, this could work for two spectators, but it could work for one. I'm going to have you take as many cards as you want from this pile. So, um, let's say you want this many. Okay, we have that right there. And then from this pile, I want you to just pick a card right here. Okay? I'll go ahead and let you see it. And I'll take it and just shuffle it into here. Right? Just like that. And I'll go ahead and take this right like that. And I'm going to do a shuffle called the Klondike Shuffle. Now this is where I take a card from the top and the bottom and deal it down just like so. Uh, supposedly this was because during the Klondike Cold Rush, Gold Rush, people's hands would get so cold that they had to shuffle like this, but I'm not sure if that's true. Um, so I have that just like that all the way through the deck and thoroughly mixed up and now I would ask for you to have these back and I'm going to go ahead and see how many cards were in your hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and just in here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 your card. Okay guys, that was a trick, and be sure to stick around. Hey guys, again, this is a really cool self-working card trick. It is intermediate because it requires a little bit of card shuffling and sleight of hand, but other than that, it works perfectly well. Um, I mean, it still works perfectly well, but yeah, you get my point. So, you just take a deck, spectator can shuffle it, that does not matter at all, and uh, if you have jokers in the deck, you're going to want to remove those, or if you have two jokers, you can keep them and just do two piles at 27 because the two jokers would make the card deck 54 cards total. Um, but I prefer to do it without jokers because sometimes that can be a little confusing. So you're going to deal down two piles of 26 to start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Just like that. Two piles of 26. And then from the first pile, Again, this can work for two spectators. You have um, the spectator take as much as they want. Um, some text spectators literally want all the cards except one. Some just want like one or two. But let's just say they took like that much. It works either way, I promise. Um, so what you want to do, you're going to have them pick a card from this pile and remember it. Let's say they picked this one, three of clubs. Um, now, you're going to want to basically get that on the bottom, so you can cut it like that, or you can shuffle it. What I like doing is just uh, doing the shuffle, and then if you guys want to check out my riffle shuffle video, um, that is, I explain how to basically keep a card on the bottom while you do the riffle shuffle. It looks very casual, but basically you take the, you keep the bottom card on while you shuffle it. So, uh, very casual. You're going to take that pile with their card on it. Again, this pile is in their hand. And then you're just going to plop that on the remainder of the pile they took from. Then you're going to do a Klondike Shuffle. Very simple. Card from the top and the bottom. But don't mess this up because it can ruin the whole trick. <laughs> but yeah, just take a card from the top and the bottom like so. Throughout the whole card deck. Whoops. Um, you can make up some story or whatever you want. I think my story was true. I'm not sure. So don't count me on that. And again, this works if they took a big pile, little pile. They take zero cards or one card. Um, well, preferably don't have them take zero cards because that'd be weird. But then you're going to count out their cards. So they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
And after doing that Klondike shuffle, the whole deck is set up so that when you deal down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, the tenth card will be theirs. It's an awesome trick. It has an amazing effect because it just kind of blows the spectators away that their card is in the position of what they took away from. But really cool trick. I definitely recommend doing it on people. But uh, yeah, be sure to like the video and comment as well and also subscribe. Thanks, guys.